everybody, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, I made a comment in, in a group, somebody was asking about how much to charge to clean a steeple. Um, you know, it, it's going to be just like cleaning a house, only it's super duper duper tall. Um, and certainly the pricing and everything is going to be different if you're doing just a steeple or if you're doing the whole church. Um, what I've found, and depending on how dirty it is and the kind of material and everything, you do kind of have to get up there with a pretty hot mix on the steeple to get it clean. Um, I was using a Gen 2 12 volt pump system. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, it's probably 50, 60 feet up in the air at least, um, all the way to the, to the top of the steeple. Um, you know, it's really basic. I mean, as far as your calculation, figure on whatever your lift rental is for a day, um, you know, what, 600 to thousand dollars, depending on how big this lift is and delivery and everything. Um, figure you need at least a minimum of two, ideally three guys, one person obviously in the bucket, somebody else manning the controls, and a third person near the equipment. Um, and then bleach, which is going to be like two or three gallons at most. Um, I ended up, we tried to use like a, a weaker mix, and I ended up just doing a 50-50 mix, nuked it, and was able to get the stuff off. Um, personally, we were able to get it so the church had other stuff that they were going to be doing with the lift. They got it donated or whatever. I mean, that that's the big thing that I would put back on that on the church and just say, hey, you know, here's our price for the actual work. And, and it's going to be, guys, I would expect a minimum of it's probably going to take you four to five hours. The actual cleaning will not take that long, but between getting everything set up, getting in the bucket, going up top, moving around, spraying, rinsing, yada, yada, um, it will take at least double or triple the amount of time that you really think it will. <clears throat> Get lots of good pictures. You're not going to be up in a boom lift like that on a regular basis. Um, there's a lot more to be gained from doing a job like this than simply the money that you're going to be paid to do it. Um, you know, it, it's up to you. Some some guys will do. I did a full write off because it was my church. You know, all I had to do is show up. I already had one of the uh, deacons is a good friend of mine who also works for me off and on. Um, and I didn't have to pay for the lift, so it's just me donating a morning of my time, and we got it taken care of. Um, make sure you've got face protection, because when you're on the wrong side of the steeple, uh, the wind's going to get you. It's going to soak your face with bleach. Um, and certainly if it's got a metal roof, make sure you're soaking down the roof and rinsing that off so that it doesn't impact anything there. Um, so, I mean, you... Just seeing some people's posts, 500, 5,000, you know, is it just a basic box and then the steeple up top? Does it have ornate areas? Is it a huge area that you've got to do? You know, is it a 50 foot tall spire on top of a 100 foot tall building or whatever? Um, all that comes into play, just like with a house wash. So, I mean, just the fact that somebody says 500 bucks for the work, um, you know, it doesn't mean that, you know, you charging $2,000 or $6,000 or whatever, um, you know, it, it, there, there's a lot of variables that go into it. Um, again, the biggest thing is going to be that lift rental. Um, and there's a lot of stuff with how to get up close to it, putting big pieces of plywood down and everything so you're not destroying any sprinklers or whatnot. The last time that the church had it done three or four years prior, um, somebody else did it, um, and they basically pulled a bucket truck up onto the lawn and left, you know, tire tracks that were like this big and like four or five inches deep in the front grass in front of the church. So, uh, but yeah. And if you got a problem with churches and you don't want to do it, then just say no thank you. Um, in the post, some people were being just ignorant about what they would charge or why they should charge so much more because it's church and blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not going to say what goes around comes around, but guys, treat it like any other organization too. I mean, if 
you're going to do something for the Optimist Club or the Kiwanis or a Rotary or whatever else. You've also got to see that this is a huge PR thing. You will make more money as a result of doing this job than the money you're going to make from it. Um, the pictures are awesome. I love posting those from time to time. And it's it's just, it's fun to be able to say, yeah, I've cleaned a steeple. You know, it gets you over your fear of heights too, which is great. So, anyways, have a great day, guys.